friends, welcome back. I don't know more famous knife like a kunai. And today, Asians sent me their version. We gotta check it out, test it, and have a lot of fun. So, let's get started. So like I said guys, there is not more famous knife like a kunai. It's in the Hollywood movies, Naruto. I have seen it in the video games, practically everywhere in the Hollywood. And they portrayed it very bad. If you want to learn more about actually history of the kunai, I will put the link right here. It's on our episode Lords of the Blades. And now we're gonna talk about what you can get on the market. From the Hollywood perspective, kunai looks totally different than a um, good throwing knife should look like. So here is one little example, literally. This is the kunai that you can get most of the market. They are usually very, very small, tiny, light, and the weight is very, very low. For this one, I think it's gonna be about 40 grams. And problem with this, they rebound from the target and they can serious, they can cause serious uh, damage and hurt you. And also, the material is often very, very bad. I mean, you can get them for the very cheap price, but you're not gonna enjoy throwing with this at all. So today, I want to show you how actual kunai is going to look like, because like I said, Acejet made their own version and we're gonna check it out. So let's unbox it. All right guys, let's check it out. They are in the classic box, like always. You know this, card, certificate, stickers. I think these are maybe new. Uh, I like this. <laughs> and now let's see guys, the actual kunai. I didn't have them in the hand yet, so it's gonna be nice to see. And let's check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, here's the first one. Second and the third. Look at that. Wow. They are even not that heavy on the right away they feel. And pretty long. And I think that's gonna be eight millimeters. Uh, all the specifications, guys, you're gonna find on the Asia website. And I think they're gonna be also ready to order. Wow, that looks very nice. So let's see. Just a quick comparison, guys. I think here, the size matter for sure, look at that. Like I said, thin, small, no weight. Look at the comparison. 95% on the market, Kuna, it's gonna be like this. You see it in the Naruto, like I said, but this is total crap. Let's try this, I think. Come on, guys, let's go. Ah, uh, maybe I found purpose for these cheap kunais. You can use them as a hanger for our targets. Huh? <laughs> so guys, let's start with the basic techniques. I want to see how they fly for the conventional house pin first. Let's go. Let's see. Wow. I be bullseye first try. A little bit high. Ooh. So two bullseyes on the first throws, not bad at all, and they feel totally awesome. I think they are not heavy at all. I mean, the great weight. Let's try again. Wow. Not bad, last one was a little bit over rotated, first one was perfect, so, so far, Really, really nice. Conventional half, I will be stepping back from the target. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Ah, let's see it in the slow motion actually, guys. Come on. In this part, they are a little bit thinner, so let's try it if it's not gonna be a problem for the military house pin. 
let's see. First, I will not move my thumb. I will leave it at one place. And after we can try different distances and move my thumb as well. So come on. Very nice. Okay, it was very good, no problem. Let's try one more time with a thumb at one place. So far, I really like them, guys. Perfect. Wow, nice grouping. And now, like I said, I'm gonna be moving my thumb on the spire of the knife. If you don't know, that's how you adjust for the longer distances for the military house pin. Oh, a little under rotated. And the longer distance, my thumb is right here. There you go. Let me fix the first one, that was horrible. There you go, that's much better. Time for the slow-mo. Kunai is definitely instinctive knife, but we should definitely try also full spin throwing. I have one way how you can do it with the kunai and it's gonna be with a pinch grip so you're gonna grab it like this wrap around stand about three or four meters and aim pull back let it slide so let's see ah, a little bit low last one was really good first also but all of them look at that Penetration is totally insane. Let's try one more time. And the bullseye. Very cool. Let's see how the full spin with the kunai looks on the slow-mo. Come on. Now, we're gonna try the no spin throwing. And for that guys, I think it's gonna be best. So I'm gonna use the grip like this. Maybe a little bit lower to feel really nice, comfortable. And otherwise I'm gonna be throwing the same. So let's try. First closer. Wow. Very, very comfortable. And also, Deep sticks, I'm definitely gonna do more. Come on. I see some bullseye. Woo! Ah, look at that, three bullseye. Very nice. So one more time, and we definitely gonna try also longer distances. Now about five meters. Not bad. Let's see the slow-mo and the longer distances.
Now guys, for the nose spin, they're working totally awesome. You can see the longest distances, the longest one I made on the first try. So that was really cool. Last thing that we have to try, it's gonna be no reload. I think since they are symmetrical, not so heavy, they're gonna be perfect for it. So let's try. Stick them like that. Let's try. Not bad. I like it. Let's see if they work also for the speed throwing. Works awesome. I think they're gonna be really cool for many combos. So let's try a few more and we gotta summarize it. Alright guys, let's summarize it. So four techniques that you have seen today, 100% perfect. House spin, no spin, full spin, no reload. I totally love them. Very cool. And like I said, they are ready for order on the Agit website. So if you want the same one, check out the link in the description below. But for today guys, that's it. So thank you all for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.